Good morning, guys. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And welcome to some of our new members. I am Claire, I'm the co-creator of Blog Business School. And today, I just wanna share with you a really quick tip that I just discovered. So I'm creating content for my membership, my other membership site, The Household Revolution. And what I wanted to do is just create a little, a mini ebook. Now, usually I use Canva for this, but it can get a bit tedious with changing, well, look, I'm gonna turn around so you can see. So this is what I want it to look like. Just really basic, but you know, some, some different font sizes, um, underlines and bits. And to create this full thing in Canva, it would require doing different segments. So clearly I've got too many tabs open. Um, okay, so to go over into Canva, if I was to do this, I'd have to, you know, add the text for the first section. So add text for this. So that would be one text box, then add another text box and line it all up, etc. So what I wanted to do is instead to use this Google Doc, but create a cover page for it. Now that can be tricky because in here, when you insert an image, so I've already got my image in there. So what I did, I went into Canva, um, and I've created a cover, so I just went A4, I selected um, A4 up here, and then I created a cover image. So I've just got that, that's the cover for my little mini ebook. I downloaded it, so it's down here, saved it, and then I've got my little PDF here, and then I want to insert the image. So. If you've got a Mac, you can just drag it and drop it. So that's the problem that I had, that when I inserted it, it had the margins around it. Now, you can get rid of the margins by clicking on the image and then click on wrap text and then change this to zero millimeter margin. So that means it'll have no margin around it. But then the problem that I had was it still had a white gap at the top, which I did not want. So the little workaround that I found was put your copy, so where you want it to start on the second page. So click on, click just before your first line of writing, click insert, and then we go down to break, page break. And then what you wanna do is click in the header, so right at the top of the page, click on different first page header or footer, because you want it to be different, you only want this header on the first page, and then put your image in there, then, so we wanna click on wrap text, zero margin. So that's how you get it all the way to the sides. And then you can just stretch it. So you can see it's right at the top because it's in the header. And I hope this doesn't freeze on me, it froze on me before. Stretch it to take up the entire page. So then mm, this one's gone down a bit and we can put him back up there. And there you have it, if we go, that's not what I wanted. So there is my first page. So then to make that into a PDF, all I would do is go file, print. Then down here, um, and this looks different. Well, there's my PDF. That's created. We've got the first page is the header. Oh, I need to stretch it a little bit more so you can just see a little bit of white over there. Doesn't really matter. And then I go file, save, or uh, you can export, export as a PDF to save it, and then I just save it somewhere. So that is how you create a little ebook with a cover in Google Docs. Or I would say the same thing applies in Word or um, Pages for Mac. So you could use this when you're creating lead magnets if you don't want to have to, you still want it to be pretty but you don't want you know, super design in it and you don't want it to take forever. So a really quick little hack for you. Hope that makes a difference and I hope you're all having a wonderful Monday so far. See you guys.